Lana was 24 weeks pregnant. I was in hospital at the time. Um, I got her in the morning with a discharge. So the doctor came and examined and they said, well, you know, less than 28 weeks, baby not available to surviving. So I was taken to labor ward and doctor was 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 assessing me and they said, so you so you want us to give you a barge and help with the pain? I said, no, let her come on her own. And they let me know a baby won't survive. And two hours later, I was wake up. And Dr. Granham, she said, baby's still surviving. And she's fighting. We have a fight with her. They ran there, and she was taken to the NICU. On the morning I came and see her, I was like, I didn't spend a minute. And it was like, baby can't survive. She had looked transparent. She didn't look like a baby that will live. Not having the knowledge of prematurity, I said, no, she can't survive. And I went back upstairs and Aunt Jessamy was like, mommy, you're going already? I said, yeah, I can't take it. And her, then her daddy come and visit at night. But her daddy was always like, she'd be good. He, he, he always had that, she'd be good. Yeah. So then... I was coming to the NSU, the first two months was hard, and then it started to get better and better. And baby spent six months, and she's one year now, and still supporting. So there's, she's doing well. She now start to stand and let go, and she's meeting her milestones as corrected age. Well, I don't know the word, but NSU, without them, so much people lose their baby. They're, there was good. The doc, from doctor's staff, it's great. Yeah, I, then one day I said, I started to feel like I would have hit the mental. So then I, I, I went home and my said, no, Jesus take the wheel. God's in control. And then I just started to come and visit baby from January 1st, because there were machines as well. Because, you know, um, I, got, I got to learn them. And then January from January first I come and I see the machine reading yellow, 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 yellow. I was like, yes. It's good. Yeah. Okay, so what about um, the working with the doctors and the nurses? What would you say about the staff here? The, the staff the, the staff and the doctors and the nurses, they were good. They even I I didn't even have no say about my baby at one point. There she become theirs. They had all the same. So they were really good, and I don't, they're a group of people you'll never forget. And I guess you would have met other parents and stuff like that. Yeah, I met other parents, and I, I, one day I, I was out there, and a young lady, she was having like panic attacks. So I was like, You work here? And I would talk to her, and people would even tell the nurses, Shakira talked to me, and she made us feel better. So. Then I would, so I tell Jessica, really, they say that, and my boyfriend would be like, I don't understand you, you you telling them parents and things, and you and you home, you crying, crying, you get the advice for yourself. Right. Actually, I like the hands-on experience with the children, with the babies, and what I really like about the fact to see that babies can come out of NICU alive and well. They may come down with different little problems, but then at the end of it, after care given, we see that they all are well and then they're able to leave and to be back home with their parents, you know, together. And that is what I really like about the experience of being here, being able to give the assistance that is so important for these little babies and to make sure that they're back in their family units. Okay, so mm -hmm. tell me how important do you think such a unit is for a hospital to have? Yes, it's a necessity because across the world we've got a whole lot of babies that are being born premature, right? Um, maybe every one in ten baby uh, would, be, 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 would be born premature, so it's a necessity. In Barbados, um, this is the only hospital, this is the only neonatal intensive care across this uh, Barbados. So it is a necessity because some of those babies that are born premature will need the care because remember their systems are not fully developed when they're born premature. As a result, they need the care, the assistance of the health team. And so it is a necessity. Yes, I would encourage corporate barbers to get on board because right now we need incubators, we need ventilators, we need um, monitors, we need pumps, and um, normally we can accommodate about 25 to 26 babies on the unit here. 
and we do not have all the required machinery to attend to all of them. So we, re we really need corporate Barbados to get in involved as much as they possibly can because we know that the incubators are expensive and the ventilators as well. I think it is um, 50 something thousand for a ventilator and the incubator is um, maybe I don't know, 20 something thousand, something like that. But we really do need them. And now with the um, current situation that's happening with the indeterminate cases and the COVID conditions, right? So we definitely need more uh, incubators and more ventilators. Apart from corporate Barbados giving uh, into the unit, we also would like to encourage um, persons to get involved in the nursing profession. We are losing our nurses, and the human resources are a very important factor in giving care to these newborn babies and the premature babies. We just need the help. And for more persons to get involved in, in health care and nursing, that we can have a better Barbados for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome.